I'll tell you what it do, baby. What it do, baby. I'll tell you what it do. The Clippers. The LA Clippers did the damn thing. They did absolutely everything. That was a holy bleep moment on Friday night in a Saturday morning when the news broke that Kawhi was signing with the Clippers. An absolutely huge, franchise-altering, league-changing move. The LA Clippers. The team that nobody ever wanted to sign with. The team that nobody ever wanted anything to do with just landed the guy that everybody wanted. And they ripped him from Toronto, where he had just won a championship, and they kept him away from the Lakers, where he would have been part of an absolutely legendary big three. They did this. The L.A. Clippers did this. And don't make this about what the Raptors and the Lakers didn't do. Geoff and the rest of you, I will get to that later on. Instead, make this about what the Clippers did do because it's absolutely stunning. It's jaw-dropping. And as big as it is, I'm not even sure that people are making a big enough deal out of it. It's one of the most amazing things ever, literally. And that's not me bashing the Clippers and their current organization. This is me hyping them. And pointing out how far they've come. That's me hyping Steve Ballmer for what he's done since he took that team over. Remember back when I had Ballmer on my Showtime show. And I asked what Clipper Nation could expect of him. Maybe you didn't see that then. Roll it right now. What is the message to Clipper Nation? What do you expect from the fans? What can they expect to see from you? We're coming, baby. We're focused. We're committed. We're coming. We've got one of the most outstanding teams with one of the most outstanding coaches. Uh, We're going to support them, starting with me and throughout the fan base the best we can. And we're going to just get after it totally 100, 200, 600 percent. Boom! Balmer, 100, 200, 600 percent, baby. Boom! They might have laughed then, but my man was focused. And he was committed. And he was locked in. 100, 200, 600%. Boom! Landing Kawhi. Boom! 600%. Boom! <laughs> like, you might want to laugh at Ballmer when he's losing it on the sideline of games. But are you going to tell me that that doesn't matter? This guy wants to win. And he's willing to do anything and everything necessary to win. You want to laugh at some of his legendary moments when he's on the mic and he's yelling and he's dancing and he's losing his bleep? You go right ahead. My man is not that far away, though, from doing that at an NBA championship parade. Yeah, I said it. This could be coming to a parade through downtown Los Angeles. And it's not just Palmer. It starts with him, but it's not just him. It's Doc Rivers. It's Lawrence Frank. It's Michael Winger. It's Lee Jenkins. It's Jerry freaking West. Like, landing Kawhi is not a fluke. It's not some salary cap accident. And they were the only team left standing. They were on Kawhi's case all year long. They had a plan. They were working that plan every damn day. And they were going up against the team where Kawhi had just won a title and against their own big brother. And little brother just hospital jobbed big brother. Brother. Hell, 10 years ago, they won 19 games and they weren't trying to tank. They were just being the Clippers. That's what they did, baby. What do, baby? And then they signed Kawhi Leonard, the most sought-after free agent, the guy who had just led the Raptors, the freaking Toronto Raptors, to the NBA title and was named Finals MVP for a second time. That the Clippers got this guy really is unreal. It really is, especially since every talking head and dope in the world had him going to the Lakers or maybe staying with Toronto. So, yes, him going to the Clippers is unreal. And you know what's even more unreal? You know what's even better than getting Kawhi? Getting Kawhi and Paul George. And that's exactly what they did. Thanks to a monster trade with the Thunder. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George are going to be playing for the Clippers. (laughs) I said Kawhi Leonard and Paul George are going to be playing for the Clippers. And if it feels like I'm repeating myself, it's because I am. Because on some level, it still seems unreal. On some level, I'm still having a hard time buying it. Now, let's not get jaded here. Let's not let the fact that news breaks... The internet shatters, and then it's rebuilt in a matter of hours. Rob us of the significance of this. 
The Clippers just added not one, but two MVP candidates. Yes, Paul George is coming off a pair of shoulder surgeries. But when he's healthy, he is one of the best two-way players in the league. And the only reason he's not the best two-way player in the league is because Kawhi, the guy who recruited him, is the best two-way player in the league. And now they're on the same team. And they're joining Pat Beverly. You think that trio is going to play some nasty defense and cause some headaches? Hell yes, they are. Then you add Montrez Harrell, Lou Williams, Landry Shamit, Mo Harkless. They effectively took a team that gave Golden State all they could handle in the first round last year, and then they added two MVP candidates. And not just two MVP candidates, but two MVP candidates who appear to be perfect fits for the team's mentality and the attitude and for each other. I'm looking at that roster, and I'm looking at what they can do next year. And now six more words come to mind. Turn up, love you guys, awesome. Turn up, love you guys, awesome. Look, nothing's guaranteed, and there will be bumps in the road, and all it takes is one injury to jack this entire thing up. But this Clippers team is damn good. Here's something I've never said before on this show. Did the Clippers just become the NBA title favorites? Again, the question, did the Clippers just become the NBA title favorites? Not only have I never asked that before, but the answer has never been yes until right now. And when the question is, did the Clippers just become NBA title favorites? And the answer is yes. Then there's only one other question that needs to be asked. What it do, baby? What it do, baby? Yeah.